The key to safe excavation is to fully understand the area to be excavated, including where the overhead and underground power lines lie, and where any environmentally sensitive delineations are. Also understand the weather and expected weather conditions, and accommodate for them before work begins. Do not start digging before taking the time to fully understand the hazards in the area. Be aware of working under suspended loads. Be aware of standing too close to a vehicle in motion. Heavy equipment operators should connect in person with their spotter before beginning work. They should always understand the signals being used. Ensure other workers on site understand the trenching and or excavation goals for the day so that they can be clear of the equipment. It is also important to understand what type of soil is being excavated during the process, as the four types of soil all have different densities and degrees of hardness that influence its stability. The four types of soil range from dry, dense, and hard, to wet, muddy, and soft. The softer the soil, the more the sides of the excavation must be sloped to protect against erosion and cave-ins. If necessary, trench boxes will be used. The incline and angle to use during an excavation will depend on the size of pipe being laid, the type of soil being removed, and the topography of the land. This assessment must be completed by a competent or qualified person as defined in occupational health and safety legislation. Know that excavation walls are sloped or benched according to soil type. Ensure a temporary protective structure, such as a trench box, is installed. To excavate safely, consider Workers must be protected from loose rock, soil, or other materials that could fall or roll into the excavation. It is important to know that Spoil piles must be a minimum of 1.2 meters from the edge of the excavation. Scaling must be completed to remove loose material. Equipment or heavy objects must be no closer than 0.6 meters, 2 feet, from the edge of an excavation. Good housekeeping around excavation area is important. Do not place unnecessary items close to the excavation edge. Have pumps nearby to remove water should water accumulate in the trench upon excavation. And ensure the excavation areas are properly marked and the machinery operators are trained to read the signage and markings. Just as there are some things to do, there are some things not to do when excavating. For example, do not enter an excavation until a bell hole and excavation inspection checklist has been completed. This will ensure the excavation meets proper sloping requirements and is stable and safe to enter. Do not enter an excavation until adequate access and egress has been installed. Serreras Murphy will use three different methods to install egress. Chicken runs, which are a long, smooth ramp which leads from the bottom of the trench to grade level. The slope of the ramp will be gradual enough to allow personnel to comfortably walk up and down the ramp. Cut-ins, which is a staircase that is cut into the trench wall. The stairs will be benched into the wall of the trench and will not compromise the integrity of the trench wall. And ladders that are installed against the trench walls. The ladders must extend a minimum of one meter above ground level. The ladders must be secure at ground level to stabilize the ladder and prevent the ladder from falling. Be aware that in BC, if the excavation ladder is access and egress only, it is considered a confined space. Proper planning, hazard assessments, and implementation of controls is essential to ensuring the work is completed safely. Unsure is unsafe. If unsure, stop work and reevaluate the task. This is the same when laying pipe. As with most things on a work site, it is never as easy as it seems. This includes pipe installation. Working around heavy pipe joints is dangerous, from loading it onto the truck for transport to the site, to transporting it via busy roadways and off-road to a right-of-way, to storing it for use, to hoisting and rigging, and then welding the pipe joints together and lay it in place. 
Here are some things to consider. When at the destination, unload the pipe safely. Only trained personnel should be part of the unloading process, and they should have a plan in place, knowing the rigging and hoisting safety precautions, and use safety signals as needed to ensure safety. When rigging and hoisting pipe into place, be aware of all the unique hazards associated with this task and complete a field-level hazard assessment. Rigging and hoisting is a task for competent, qualified workers who are knowledgeable in lift planning, rigging, and are competent on the type of equipment they are operating. Refer to the hoisting and rigging safety presentation for more information on completing this task safely. Four persons and ground workers must ensure the laydown area is free from overhead and underground utilities and signage is visible for vehicles and foot traffic to see. Most importantly, ensure every worker around your work area is aware of what you are doing. Non-essential workers should stay out of the work area. Laying pipes safely is possible. It requires training, awareness, and a commitment to safety. Safety is at the core of everything we do. Work safely. It's your job.